Imagine just shoves it out. Just shoves it out. Like this long. <laughs> oh my god. And 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 they shove it from your nostril all the way to the back of your throat. Huh? And, and you have to gag. What? We're also gonna take a, a swab sample from your from your mouth. So I thought, okay, uh-huh. mouth, no big deal. Ah, come on, go for it. But then she reached <laughs> all the way in and and and, and you choke. <laughs> like, oh, oh dear. Cool, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah. So. I can already feel it like like just like tickling the back of my throat already. Yeah. Oh so, my god. An interesting experience. I don't want to do it again. Benjamin, how are we related? Uh I'm your uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, so I'm your mother's cousin. Cousin. Yes. Okay, and Easy. apparently you guys are pretty close. And you're very really pretty close. Well, yeah, we we, we, we grew up in the same. Uh, well, we didn't grow up in the same house, but we spent a lot of time with the same uh, uh, grandmother. Yeah, they call me the little monster. But the reason why I really want to bring him on is that actually he's a really really um, I would say prolific writer. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> I, I I tend to like to write things about uh, current affairs. Right. Uh, uh, I don't really like to write about politics, but sometimes mm-hmm. you know it, it, it just it just it just pops up. I like business, and I like I like law, uh, mm-hmm. at least, and, and economics. So I think right. these are these are some of the topics that that you know that interest me, and then and, and, and I tend to pick up on some of these. Well, what's your what's your take on like the politics of the pandemic, which is like something that we could talk about today? Yeah. Wow, that's uh, that, that's actually, that's actually a very very broad. Actually, it's it's it, it depends on really what you mean by that. Uh, right. If it's purely numbers that you're looking for, sure, it's it's a very high number. But is it bad? Mm. I think bad mm. would be how many people are dying. So right. in Singapore, we've kept that number extremely low. Uh, so let me introduce your your listeners to this new term to this term called tripartism. Okay. You know, it's, it's, this is actually very, very, very important. So you've got your society, you know, you've got uh-huh. your government, you've uh-huh. got your business community, and you've got your right. workers, which is a citizen. These right. three parties have to work together as one ecosystem, and and Singapore is a very, very good uh, laboratory for this. So so that is how you. You, you actually mobilize people to do things. It's not so mm. much of, uh, oh, let's put into law that you must have a, a tape on the floor and you must, you know. Law doesn't do it. As, as a person trained in law, I can tell you law is a very horrible way of getting people to do things. I have visited foreign worker, migrant, foreign worker dorms mm. uh, and I can tell you actually they're not bad. Right. So there's a lot of, uh, there are, bla- are black sheep. There will mm. surely be black sheep. And I've been to dorms that are actually really, really well managed. The, the most famous one that's on the newspaper right now, S11, it, it, it's actually got, it's quite quite well run. Right. It's packed, it's packed, no doubt. Mm. But it's not designed for extreme comfort. It's designed right. for, it's, it's, it's a military camp. You know, you go right. there, you sleep, you cook, you do your work and then you go back home to your country. Right. So it's it's not it's not it's not the Shangri La. <laughs> right. You know, let's be very honest and say that Singaporeans have some sort of racist streak in there. Yeah. Uh, go and look up the newspapers. You will see that when the do- when the government tried to build dorms in Serangoon, back in 2010, uh, the Serangoon residents raised a lot of very uncomfortable pushback. Remarks. Remarks, mm. pushback, uh, uh, and and actually demanded that the government do not build their dorms there. But but I like I like the way that they're they're handling the situation now. It's very military, very. Uh, uh, the army has gotten involved. Army has gotten involved, very military, and and very very gently. Also, there's more right. politics than you can think of that's involved in this, because you are dealing with the feelings and emotions of three hundred thousand foreign workers. So they, they, they broke down the, the, the foreign worker numbers, you know, split them into smaller and smaller uh, living units. Uh, mm. all, and, and overnight, and this is tripartism at work again, overnight mm. they could call cruise ships, they could call hotels, they could call, mm. you know, uh, pe- you know uh, uh, organizations to give up their agencies. Space. Yeah, all this was done overnight and it's, it's amazing. This is again tripartism at work. You know, in, in, in case it, 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 it sounds like, you know, uh, like, like we propaganda. Are, like, uh, <laughs> right, it does sound like propaganda. It, 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 that's, the, that's the difficult thing about my writing. When you right, think right, it's not like propaganda. Up, you're sounding like that. But that's yeah. not the case. So, you know, there are situations that perhaps that things that they do, I don't like. 
right. but I realized that it's something that I don't like and it may not right. be my wife doesn't like or my you know my grandmother doesn't like you know uh-huh. or, or, you know or my next door neighbor doesn't like so there's there's a wider community to think about you know right uh, so I can write a lot about what I don't like and then I score the government mm-hmm. okay it's just my point of view <laughs> right yeah uh, and- so it's not it's not just being pro government or whatever it's, it's really just being pro community right. and if it really is so bad you know then we've got a democratic process then you vote them right. out it's, it's it's very easy <laughs> very easy i think i think my concluding thought would be is like um, what uh Cuomo also said that um it's changing from the me to we yes uh, that's that's the biggest lesson that I've like learned from this whole like coronavirus is that it's more about like like you said like the government is not only thinking about like you if it doesn't make you happy then after that oh everybody has to change around this person it's about for the greater community and if it imp- impacts the greater community positively then they will make that decision even if it like over um like it, it walks over you as a person and you don't like it personally this fundamental change from from me to we, um, that will be the thing or like the kind of mindset that we have to uh, appreciate as we also go into this next phase of trying to open up again and this whole new dynamic again of how um, everything's gonna change all over again. Mm-hmm.